Watch this video to learn how to play the race car rag, which is in the Piano Adventures Level 2A Technique Book. Piano Adventures Level 2A Technique and Artistry book, and we are looking at the race car rag. This is ragtime music, the mood of a rag. They have some check boxes that you can indicate what you think it is. Based off of the listen that you just did, please make selections for what you think it is. I would say that it is the opposite of calm, sweet and gentle, or lazy. And I don't really think it's sad either. For me, mysterious and wild and fast. But when we play the race car rag, we don't start out practicing it fast. We're going to start out playing it and learning it at a slow tempo. Because what we want to do is perfect all the notes and the rhythms at a slow tempo before we move it faster. That is the easiest and quickest way to learn a fast song. This song will begin with your right hand pinky on G and your left hand thumb on G, so we are in C scale position. Please note that there is a lot of accidentals that we have to observe where we're looking at both sharps and naturals. The first two lines are very similar. The next two lines are very similar. The last two lines are an ending and they have their own character. We're going to learn the song in those three sections, beginning with section one. So let's get seated at the piano with our hands in the right position and we begin with the right hand. It plays G, F sharp, G, regular F, E, D, C. D, G, F sharp, G, D, that is the first line. So we're going to do this together. Please note that the right hand will come in forte. And when we go to the second measure, we drop to mezzo piano with the extra note that we need to play lightly. With that said, we will begin on four. One, two, three, four. to have you sight read the next line because it is so close to what we just did. Let's play it together on four. One, two, three, four. Great. Let's play both lines together now. One, two, three, four. Right now, we are focusing primarily on having the right notes, trying to play the appropriate dynamics and the appropriate phrasing. And if you need to pause the video to work on any of those things, please do. I'm going to move on to the next two lines. Now we are going to start in the left hand, but it's the same pattern where we play G, F sharp, G, regular F, E, D, C. So that's the same. This is not. We go left hand F, G, and our right thumb drops like our thumb in the gym exercises. The rest of the hand stays where it is so we can play B, D. And it diminuendos when you play the B and D. Let's try that together. Just the third line beginning at measure five, we will begin on four. One, two, three, four. Great. 
in order to play the next line, we just have to carry that on. And I'm gonna have you try to sight read it again. It just has a little bit different ending. And I think you can figure it out at the speed that we are going. So we're beginning now at measure seven on four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> thumb back to see might be the hardest part about that line. If you would like to, you can continue to work on it, but I would like to put both lines together now. So we're beginning at measure five and playing through what we just finished. One, two, ready, begin. You know sections one and two now, let's learn section three. Section three begins with both hands playing the same notes. So they're playing in what we call unison. So both on G, F sharp, G, regular F, E, D, staccato, C. Make sure that last note is jumpy. This one is mezzo piano. Then we move up one note and we play the same pattern here, mezzo forte. Then we go back to G on top and we play it here, forte. Double G's, G and F in the left, and a chord. Great, let's try that whole section beginning in measure nine with mezzo piano. One, two, ready, begin. Now you have learned everything that you need to know to start your practice of mastery for the race car rag. You should play the race car rag for five to 10 minutes every day. At first, you should work on the rag in the three sections that we did in the video until you feel very comfortable playing those sections individually. Then put them all together and get used to the flow playing it from beginning to end. Finally, work to polish and perfect by using your mastery checkpoints. Here are your mastery checkpoints. Remember, learning the notes is just the first step of learning a song. Beyond that, there are many things that we need to perfect so that we can play them with precision and accuracy and confidence. Here is the checklist of everything that you should be focusing on as you move through the final stages of mastering this piece. That is all for this video today. Very nice concentration and focus on this piece and good luck mastering it this week.